In the last weeks, the prices of milimil have been skyrocketing owing to different fundamentals that include the high cost of production and power outages, among others. This shortage caused panic among members of the public, leading others into bulk buying and some airing their views on the increased prices. <laughs> Here in Nilanda, milling new orders have become difficult. Sometimes, when we call for orders, it takes time for them to bring, and the prices keep on changing. We also have to increase wishes and sales of our customers. So the new thing has begun to be gaining high cost. Because if, 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 if we are five of us, how many should we buy out? Because this is not even enough to make some money. See. So that's where the problem comes. Because if this one, because now this one will buy it one eight. However, government has given its position on the status quo as well as its efforts to curb the price hikes. But as a government of the Republic of Zambia, we have enough stock and we have directed the Food Reserve Agency to release in excess of 200,000 metric, of metric uh, tons of maize to the millers. Every miller, small, medium, large scale miller, and medium miller to have access to the maize. Back in 2015, the Zambian government acquired a loan valued at $200 million from the Chinese government to procure 2,000 solar hammer mills said to be installed in 116 districts. With that being the case, what is the status on this intervention that was aimed at making the commodity affordable? More of a private sector driven economy. We encourage the private sector to engage more in these activities. But unfortunately, that loan which was borrowed from China to set up those solar powered milling plants, the public themselves, as the Zambian people, will attest that much of them are white elephants. While measures are being taken to cushion the prices of millimil, the hope of the over 19 million Zambians is to see how the interventions will impact the prices of the commodity. Shem Malinda, Diamond News.